but I want to start by going over what's here so far and then I think we're gonna try and get into addressing what you see on the RCI demand meter there we have a lot of industrial a little bit of commercial and you know some residential demand too which is good to see um, where we left off there was only really industrial with just a sliver of residential so let's take a look at our unemployment 10% um, you see you're always gonna have more jobs available than people employed um, but in this case it is a really slim margin and we're definitely definitely gonna want more jobs and we can see that where the pollution's coming in there that's why I like to give this so much space um, so now the question is how far is that so there's 8 9, 10 11 12 13 14 15 maybe um, I want to say actually let's just look at the cost 340 340 Bring that up to there and then for this one I think we'll go put a road in right here or maybe yeah we'll go one more off Add some water, see what we need to bring down. Not enough money. Okay. That's interesting. We're up against what we've got right now. Question is do I have enough to get at least some power over here? <laughs> Just speed it up a little bit, see if we can get there. And that's one sip of a drink, and we're there. So, slow the time back down. And start putting in some more. here. Try to go for a similar vibe basically. Okay, that's going to come in on that side. That's fine. we may just do then is bring that over there too. starting to come in now. We got another big smokestack right here. The 
this sort of office looking situation. I guess that's a, a docking bay too. I might just leave that a historicized because I'm not crazy about the placement. Ooh, this is big. Okay. Yep, I like that. Honestly, I might try to just do that, yeah. Which, I mean, it would also be nice to have some three buys over here, I think. So I don't want anything else that big. Definitely lay some tank tank style down there. Unemployment's still pretty high, but where our jobs available margin's gone way up. Over people employed. It was like four or five, and now we're up to thirty, and we can definitely get some water in here. Cool, that's going to come off of this little way here, like that. Definitely seeing more balance in the RCI meter now, that's a good sign too. create some space the way that that's oriented. That's great right there. I like that a lot. Strange that it didn't do anything with this, but that's fine I guess. got a ton of residential again, so let's take a look at what we can do with that. So I would love to leave a spot somewhere in the middle here. Maybe this is it for city services. Definitely this is not going to be a well served area up here if that's what we do. But there's still some room to do some up here I think. Honestly we could fit another row of residential in right here and I don't hate that. Just short on cash right now. We're still a ways away from loans, so we're gonna have to work with what we've got. Which is fine. So first let's see what has water here right now. The reality is we need that. So that's gonna take us up to those two crappy ones right next to each other, okay. So, start putting in some more of this. This is the thing, is if you're going to leave room for detailing, which is what I'm doing here, I want to leave room for fencing, um, just to create um, a different sort of vibe from having, you know, it's really easy to just maximize your block density and um, get going from there. Uh, this adds a level of oops, difficulty. Oops, see, I didn't want to go past these two, right? Because I don't have water there yet. So that's fine. Let's see what water coverage looks like on this side. So I could still potentially put some residential in over here as well and save like a sort of central city place right here city services area I mean and then potentially I think this next road down here is gonna have to be a pretty major thoroughfare out towards the rest of this area here so I may want to give myself plenty of space for that but it would be good to have stuff like fire and um, medical 
with accessible to a road that's going to serve a ton of this because unfortunately with the console obviously we can't really um, zone uh, zone our services in. So I want to think about where to put some commercial because it would be great to have a node over here somewhere um, to service all of this. And I think a way to go potentially would be to put some out here too. In fact, I might put one in right. No, I don't like that. Um, yeah, I mean, this is going to see. I think it would be good to have some corner stores out here. Eventually this road's probably going to widen, so I don't want to do too much, but just to start. It would be good to have some stuff on the inside here as well. Might even... Oh, shit. Okay, hopefully that won't undo all that there. Wanted to leave some room for a path back in here um, when we get to landscaping. Okay, and then I think three is like a good because it's going to expand and we want some room to detail there. Which means we can probably start doing some of this. Just got to keep an eye on our water. Yeah, we'll be fine. Even and then all of that's good to go. Okay. I want to stop there. Historic. I, mean, I don't hate the bookstore being the first thing you see coming into town, to be honest with you. Do we connect that up? I don't have enough money to connect that up right now. That's fine, that might be better as a pedestrian connection anyway. Because I think this could be a good spot for a park. Especially as this all fills in with residential. Okay, and I think I will bring this down. That's fine with me. Can do that. Just for the sake of making that connection. might actually pull a street out here and then we can put in a couple like a block of commercial facing our residential side there um, kind of like that idea and then that'll still leave room to expand this potentially into a wider road if the industrial traffic needs um, become serious great this is just what I wanted out here like a little gas station that's a little overdeveloped maybe, but that's fine. What else do we get in down here? I like this a lot. This is cute too. You know, I'm not crazy about this. Let me do stores like that. Pop that one on. You know, this is kind of cute here, so. I'm going to rename this. Uh, 
Brown. Street. Yeah. There we go. Oh, see, now we're coming up short on workers here. That's interesting. Unemployment's still really high, though. But our margin has continued to increase, not as dramatically now, you know. Uh, there we go, somebody just got a job. I'm trying to get to 450 people. That's when we get our first unlocks. Seeing a lot of industrial demand again, which is interesting. Definitely try to fill some of that with think about what this connection is going to look like here. This is obviously going to keep coming down. Okay. Don't hate that. I think that's a good connection to make for sure. crazy about that. But that's a good connection to have for now. Somebody doesn't have power. Are they short on power? Is that the problem? It is the problem. So, I need to up the power budget a little bit now. We're going to be need to think about putting in some more power soon too. I am going to speed up time just because I want to be able to try and get some stuff done here and I'm going to need money to do it. Right now the budget's well balanced. We need things to zone in. Auto save, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you can hear that. That is Velma the cat. Just historicizing stuff to you know, kind of preserve the look that we get from the get-go here. Um, I also like to leave some room around some of these. Obviously I want to do a ton of fencing over here. And I'm going to fence in these big blocks to really make this feel like a factory yard for a pretty significant... Um, that's funny that it's Emma. Um, Yeah, but there's, there's going to be some significant, um, you know, detailing over here to make these feel a little more like a specific site and zone. How's our employment looking? Employment's down now. 
once read that the definition of luck is when opportunity meets preparation. That's so true. I mean, throughout our lives, we work hard to become better versions of ourselves. Sometimes, when we least expect it, we're making some money. That's a good sign. This means we can figure out what we're going to do with this now. Now we get some stuff we gotta do. It's fine, we get some money to play with. Okay. So I think a water treatment's gonna be there. We gotta figure out where we're gonna put in. Let's go ahead and slow down the clock. A big recycling complex. It would be great to feed it all up right there and still have pretty good access over here. So I think the play, let's check the terrain. Still pretty okay right here, but I think this is the spot for a big recycling situation here. We can do another block. I know they are four deep. actually. That's a good start. Okay. Very nice. Next thing we'll want to think about is where we're going to put the medical clinic. I think this will be a good spot somewhere over here. Oh, sweet. Okay, let's name some roads. This is going to be Phillips Drive. Not crazy about that. This should still all be Edith Way. We can go ahead and fix that up. Um, this will be Felicity. just leave that strawberry because I think it's, we're going to have to it's going to be a different kind of road from these so I don't necessarily want to follow the same convention just yet um, that's Nancy Drive that's very funny it's fine for now Charles Way I think I want to rename this City Street because everything out past here is all going to end up being Municipal facilities. Um, that needs power. Speaking of facilities. Can I do that? No, it won't let me. That's fine. residential having some trash problems there but those are on their way out this needs water though just bring it down there just enough just increasing some connectivity there water availability is very low that's not a good sign it might be time to tap the spring here. I 
Rescue's thing. I know it's very popular to put water pipes right under the road, which makes sense in an actual dense urban environment. But out here, you wouldn't want to have to tear up your road to get to these pipes if there's nothing going to be right next to the road. So that's why I'm going to go ahead and lay that sort of parallel to the road there. And that takes care of our water problems. Is now we're equalized with water consumption and sewage production. Or sorry, uh, no. Our capacities are much closer is what I mean. Okay, definitely having trash problems. And that's due to the space between um, between the facility and where these issues are happening right now. There are trash trucks coming through here though. That's a good sign. Let's just take a second and see what happens here because I see a ton of trash trucks coming in kind of along that route I wanted there. Um, it might have been better. I don't know. Cause I kind of want to save all this still for development. could potentially put more municipal facilities off to the side here somewhere. Just I'm trying to keep this open to figure out what to do with this forest later. Hi Velma, do you want to say hello? Yeah, hi, hi. Sorry, just a cat I'm trying to deal with. Um, garbage capacity is very good. One of these cleaned up already. This one's, here he comes. There we go. That's all cleaned up now. Our budget is still in the green. Is it going up or down, I wonder? It went up a little bit there. I think we can even take a little bit off the top of trash. Because I was way up in the green. The other thing I'm going to do right now is take these all the way down. Because I want to see those buildings at their smallest zones um, because education and healthcare are two things where the budget can really break you. Um, so now I think we can put in some more residential zoning it looks like. Ready for that. Got the demand. So, if it's good enough for Tony Magoni's steakhouse, why not be good enough for Joe Public's home house? Hmm, yeah. Get in touch with Meaty Bits and tell them Tony sent you. Meaty Bits. I'm if not going to tell them Tony life, sent me. This is so day. bizarre. <laughs> it's super salmon days down Boom, those are road. popping right in. Do I have taxes unlocked yet? Yeah, yeah, I do. Okay, we are going to up the tax rate a little bit. I'm not going to max them out at 12, except for maybe commercial I'm gonna bump this up for now 12 is really where you can take it without pissing people off um, which is nice okay. build the zoning out over here still more Here's another one of these that you're just going to get with your 2x3 lots. I'm going to leave it for now. When we come through with the fencing, we'll figure out what to do with that. We're low on juice again. I think it might be time to buy another wind turbine. Get, get a second here. Get that money up. there. 
Realistically, I am going to put a coal power plant in when I have the money for it because otherwise you kind of get caught in a game with the windmills where you're always trying to boost your capacity um, past where it is. Even now, see we still are like, that barely bought us any room. Obviously we can take the budget up and that will help. This electricity will be a major limiting factor if you let it. Okay. Obviously I want to think about a school as well. You know, I could take a loan out. Quickly cost us 400. You know, that's only like a third of my surplus right now. And that number is going up steadily. So I feel pretty confident taking that out. Because getting some education in here will be a good thing. And I think this is a really prime block for it right here. Um, see that area of effect is not big, but when we boost the budget it will get bigger. But as this residential zone continues to come in, I think this is really going to serve a ton of people like over in here. Um, because that would be the other option, is to figure out somewhere, maybe on this side, since that's where more, more of the housing is. Um, put it on Summit Drive, I kind of like that. Um, except I would have to back it off later, when this becomes a four lane. Unless I just do that now. How much is that going to cost to upgrade all of that? Quite a bit. But I don't hate the idea of doing it for the school here and now. Is that the only four lane we have? Yeah. Hmm. really you know because it would be great to upgrade some roads overall right and now we have a ton of industrial demand again what's her unemployment is so high that's not good and this is the tricky part about building massive industrial sites like this is that if you try to give yourself a ton of room to detail run the risk of um, needing vast amounts of space to account for all the industrial demand you're going to end up with. That's the water problem there. Okay, that makes sense. Good to check in on the water stats there.
Okay, it makes sense. Kind of a second one of those. Whatever. It's fine. Might just try to like. The other thing I could do is I don't know. I don't want to do anything there. industrial demand later. Let's come back through and get rid of these. Oh, I love that. Nice big open space there. It's dead <laughs> plans, I guess. That's fine. Perfect. I wanted that little office looking thing right there. I guess. right there across from the recycling plant that's perfect for now our demand is becoming more balanced again which is a great sign so I'm gonna think about oh that sucks oh I'm really bummed to see that I would have loved to be able to do like three deep on one side here or the other fortunately that's not gonna be what the game gave us to work with, which is fine, I think. Honestly, I'm fine with this being all developed. We should still be able to get a fence back in there if we turn off our snap twos. that as like the way in. Boom, look at that. That's already developed a ton. This is facing the wrong direction. Hit that. These truly are terrible buildings. I don't really want them to be historic. This one I like. It's a weird place for a bookstore, but whatever. Okay, we were still thinking about putting in a school somewhere, weren't we? We hadn't decided where. Honestly, I think what I'd rather do first is upgrade some roads. facing the wrong direction again. So, <laughs> have to, which is a bummer because I love the ice cream spot, yeah. Okay, that's facing the wrong way. Let's see what it's going to be. 
Okay, that's fine. <clears throat> to have your whatever. Yep, there's the bookstore. Great. I'm not going to historicize that. Go ahead and do that, though. Just to keep those low for now, we'll figure it out later. Okay. We were doing roads. here. Keeping our demand fairly equalized for the most part. Now let's see about this school, I think. So that's a really appealing place to put it to me. Could even move it up a little bit more here, honestly. People won't mind living by a school, and it's a good opportunity to think about some park space down here as well. The question is, I would love to have all that still be residential. This could also be an option up here, honestly. But the density is going to be much wider down here. I think this is the spot, yeah. Everybody loves that. That is a really long block. I'm gonna have to think about what I want to do there eventually. Because bringing this straight down would really like not load there. And it's full length, it would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine houses across. Which is a pretty good. It's gonna be coming in really tight on those. Which means it could make sense to bump it back down to eight houses. Let's say I wanna do this now. Okay, let's see how badly that messed up up here. 
Yeah, like we don't want that to be a three. It's just auto. Okay. Yeah, we're just gonna have to back some stuff off of this, which is fine. What? How did that? Oh my god, that got all messed up on this side. Don't like that at all. Which is fine, that's fine, it's all fine. Okay. Could hypothetically put some more back in there? I don't really want to. not going to be as major of a road. I don't think we need as big of a gap, even if it does widen at some point. That's better. some of this over here now, which is fine. Yep. Oops. Take that out to there, I think. Oop, the school does not have water or power. There we go. That ought to help. We can also put in our medical clinic here now, too. Think about where that's going to go. I like having it down here by the school somewhere. I'm going to want to put a playground in right there for sure. Thank you across the street from this here. Yeah. So we can still develop residentially back through there, even on Edith and probably up to Felicity here. And that'll be a cute little park spot right there, I think. Let's go ahead and pull that residential in right here and see how it looks. See, now you're really seeing, if you've been watching this from when I really started, you're seeing how spending all that time on the layout pays off now. Um, because I, I have like a grid that I figured out early on that I wanted to do that now I'm just filling in very simply without having to worry as much about... Um, what uh where i'm gonna go what the next road's gonna look like um i can just really sort of i have my set lot size i picked my grid depth really that's the big determining factor um you know your your block length you can really play around with as much as you want to be honest that's fine i'm fine with all that right now you know, if this doesn't become a major road, I think the spacing here is <clears throat> a little unorthodox, but that's fine, honestly. There is room to put some like small shops on Grove Street here, I guess. Um, that's pretty funny. I guess it should have a cul-de-sac, go under a bridge at some point, but we'll, we'll get to that, I guess. Um, it does have a very San Andreas vibe here, I think. I do like that about this map. Um, a lot of mountains in the distance. Um, okay, we are back up with residential or industrial demand now. Excuse me. Still quite a ways from unlocking offices, so we're gonna have to think about some more blocks of industrial development here, which is fine. 
I really like how this is shaping up actually because excuse me um, of what this means for freeway access for all this industrial is that it is really going to be best served by um, heading straight up here as opposed to um, hey gamer crack how's it going um, oh well this is just our industrial zone right here you can see we still have a ton of industrial demand um, right now but it's because it's spaced out uh, really is why the pollution zone is so large because um, it's developed I wanted to make these feel like factory yards um, as opposed to just blocks of dense industrial um, and once the fences are unlocked that'll make more sense too it'll be more obvious why that was the plan but let's go ahead and throw down another industrial block right now so you can see this process so these were 340 if I remember right real question is am I gonna wanna come in at a different angle here eventually if that's gonna be a major road there Go ahead and pull this down a thousand. Um, I've been playing this city for about two hours now. Um, I took a break in there, so a little bit less than that, but most of the first hour was just figuring out the orientation to start my grids on. Um, so since then it's been a lot more um, just figuring out uh, where things are going to go and then filling in with zoning um, and you can see I'm given a lot of space over here too for oh cool yeah it's a fun game um, I really like it uh, I don't know what number city this is for me but um, I have a lot of fun with it and you know, if you watch a lot of the people on YouTube who are playing on PC with mods, it can make you a little jealous, but it's also a great way to get ideas, I find. Uh, City Planner Plays is a lot of fun. Biffa is really good for understanding the mechanics of the game, even like vanilla um, console versions. Um, so I would check them out if you're ever looking for ideas. Okay, I like how that looks. Put another big industrial block right there. Mm -hmm. Also continue that out, although I might just leave that. Um. Bring this back across. Just so that connection still exists in case the other one gets severed at all. And then, yeah, okay, we needed to do industrial here. So, I think we would want the road for this to be off this side. I'm gonna leave plenty of space over there. And then, come down this way. That can connect up there. Switch to curved road tool. Oops. And that can go like that. Yeah, it is a really tough game for beginners. I think that's really why I turned to YouTube, honestly, at first. Um, was just to look at like tutorials. Um, and once I started to get the hang of the the beginners like basics there's a really great video on uh, the battery strategy for starting your city let me see if I can find it and drop it in the chat really quick because um, it really helped me understand how to sort of uh, start a city mechanically um, here it is from conflict nerd on YouTube
select an area. Oh, um, when you've got your zoning tool equipped, if you hold it's triangle on PlayStation, so it would probably be Y on Xbox. It's whatever that top button is on your four buttons on the right side. So Y or X on Xbox, I think. Um, it brings up this selection tool. So fill is probably what you're used to, where it's going to fill in this entire area. Um, and then there's also these brushes that start like small, so you could do like like that. And then they get to medium, and then large if you want to really... If I wanted to just do all this in one fell swoop. But I like to use select because you can really sort of control your lot size. And I think get more interesting results out of what you're doing. <laughs> yeah, uh, if you ever watch RT Games on YouTube, he does a lot of interesting stuff with the sewage system in this game, um, if you're looking to have some fun with it, uh, although I wouldn't call his cities functional particularly, um, you know, it kind of just depends on what you're looking for, I guess, but uh, I like his stuff a lot. Um, let's see. I think maybe right here we'll try to do some tanks. That's fine. Uh, the biggest population city I have is 115,000. Um, that was really the first city where I learned how to like grid and do that effectively. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, a lot of my early cities, I really, like, peaked out around, like, 10, 15, even 20,000. Um, like, that felt like a big accomplishment the first time I really got to, like, that level of the game. Really what it comes down to is just understanding how to balance, like, what you want to do uh, artistically with what you want to do what you need to do mechanically for the sake of the game and that's when you come into city views here so again I'm holding down triangle and then we go into city views um, down there on the bottom right this game is not multiplayer unfortunately I'm sorry on PC you can pass saves back and forth so that's how you end up with stuff like five builders one city on YouTube which is a really cool series where uh, like five different builders will pass around to save and um, build on the same map together. That's really cool. Um, but you can't do anything like that on console, unfortunately. Um, it would be nice. I think that's really one thing this game is missing, um, is a way to play with other people online. Um, have I played Fallout? Yes, I have. Um, I played Fallout 3 uh, probably back when it first came out. And then New Vegas is one of my favorite games of all time. Um, I have played Fallout 4 as well, although I was not as big of a fan. Although the settlement building had a lot of parallels to city skylines that I actually really liked um, and just other like m resource management games generally um, so that was fun I just couldn't get into the story of Fallout 4 I felt um, I had a really hard time with it no uh, no shade if it was something you enjoyed of course um, Okay, so we're balancing our residential, commercial, and industrial demand again by zoning a ton of industrial uses over here. Trying to use these this block I laid out to have some interesting, you know, development patterns here. Um, you know, trying to use our imagination until we can get some more fencing in, um, also to really help define this area uh, visually. Let's see how close we are to a milestone, because I'm going to have to go shortly. 
We're really close, so let's try to hit 900 population. We're short on power again, which means it's time to drop some coal, I think, unfortunately. This is going to go here for now temporarily. Um, and we're going to zone some more residential to try and hit this milestone before I have to jet. Bad financial decisions. It's really easy to make poor financial choices in this game. Um, don't beat yourself up about that for sure. The trick, the biggest tricks, and I'll run through these here in a second once I'm got these blocked in, so we can hit this milestone. Um, the biggest thing you can do when you're starting a city is go into your economy panel and your budget here and take your roads, your electricity, and your water down as low as you can. Obviously my electricity is back up right now because if we look at my demand, well actually I can take it way back down again. Um, but it was up really high. Things like that, that's going to save you a ton of money on your budget. Okay, we're getting really close to 900 here. Let's see, I'm going to go ahead and do some more residential right here, I think. There it is. Cool. That's a good place to stop. So, um, when I come back next time, probably next weekend, if you want to come hang out again on Saturday, um, we'll be playing with what I just unlocked there. Um, thanks for tuning in. I uh, hope you learned something.